Hello, my name is Michael Kabibi. I am a student at Common Northwest, and I'll be presenting a retrospective review that analyzes the hemoglobin A1C values of patients of Albany Inri Services, most of whom are Hispanic, earn low incomes, and are uninsured or underinsured. This review aims to develop a better understanding of the prevention and management of type 2 diabetes in this population by tracking their hemoglobin A1C values and comparing those values to the American Diabetes Association's cutoff value for type 2 diabetes of 6.5%, and the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services value for poorly controlled diabetes of 9.0%. The hemoglobin A1C values were collected from their electronic medical records dated from 2013 to 2018. In total, a descriptive analysis of the electronic medical records of 229 patients was conducted. 22 of those patients were diagnosed with diabetes at some point during the selected time frame, and the hemoglobin A1C values for 19 of those 22 patients were obtained. We also report how many patients had hemoglobin A1C values above 6.5%, but were not classified as diabetic. The values were plotted over time to look for trends. Five patients showed fluctuations in hemoglobin A1C values within the selected time frame, while the hemoglobin A1C values of the remaining 14 patients did not change. Of the five patients who had fluctuating values, one showed an improvement from poorly controlled diabetes to diabetes. While the data is limited, the lack of improvement in these patients may indicate the need for the involvement of free clinics healthcare systems, policymakers, and community organizations to address health disparities in diabetes. Exploring systematic methods and automating reports of diabetic patients who have not completed recommended labs could provide more accurate tracking of hemoglobin H1C values.